how you doing so you're still working on that project it's late at night when you really know you should slip into some pajamas take the march down the corridor get into bed and yeah slide gently into the land of nod there are seven signs that you really should go to bed now and you know it so let's take a look at those symptoms and uh, yeah remind ourselves what we already know get ready and here's number one on the list so number one you're actually making your image worse no matter how hard you try your pain isn't actually getting any better you keep trying and doing a little bit more and a little bit more but yay <laughs> you just can't seem to do anything good no matter how hard you try and your painting is not getting anywhere fast you're paying a little bit more on the face but uh, let's face it nothing great is happening for you using all the wrong brushes and it's getting more and more distorted yeah just call it a night you know you should also you're running out of ideas the things that should come naturally to you you know what you want to do next that's not happening either you just keep flitting around the image as well you know going from bit to bit I often do this naturally I move around my image but if you're the kind of person who does this you're probably getting tunnel vision and just working on the same bit over and over and over again and that's partly to blame for what's making it worse you keep trying to correct your mistakes when uh, you're digging yourself into a hole so call it a night go to bed you know you'll get fresh eyes in the morning but for right now no and working on it for the next four hours while you're tired not gonna help so uh, go to bed number two you're actually looking up crap on the internet cat videos if nothing else or going back and forth on Twitter and Facebook these messages are not your friends think about how much more you can look at in the morning those videos tweets Facebook messages they will still be there yep and when you finish your illustration finally you can tweet about that yeah it's really better to do all that then and yeah you'll be able to do so much more why not interact with people in the morning when you've got a clear head the last thing you want to do is get a spelling mistake or look up somebody else's messages and respond badly in the middle of the night plus if other people see you posting uh, yeah like your boss not very good your friends will also think you're a bit of a weirdo so go to bed it's gonna help you out in the long run really is this the best use of your time number three the coffee cups are starting to mount up you've got water bottles everywhere and coffee ring stains on the desk it's not very nice is it but what you could do is ignore it all for now turn everything off and go to bed come back in in the morning have a bit of a tidy up wipe everything down get the coffee rings off i even like to give the room a bit of a vacuum why it just gets me into that mindset if I've got a nice clean studio then it's absolutely brilliant I even give my my accessories you know the mice the keyboard a wipe down give my uh, give my screen a bit of a wipe down you know the Wacom is touch sensitive my my main computer the Dell here that's touch uh, as well so those get a lot of mucky fingerprints and it really really helps but you can't do that late at night can you and I certainly can't get my mum in to you know to uh, give the place a bit of a dust and a vacuum you know she'd uh, she'd be on me 
Lawrence, Lawrence, you're always, you know, you need a bit of a tidy up. And it's, it's not going to work, is it? If she comes in at three in the morning with a pledge and a vacuum. And my wife's just the same. If I wake her up, you know, oi, 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 come in here, come in. Ah, she won't do it. She always gives me a bit of a knock about that. So and my little boy is only three. I can't get him trained. He doesn't get in the corners properly. So useless i thought he'd you know i thought by about three he'd be up to it but no he's not tall enough for the vacuum so i think i'll have to wait at least another year anyway on to number four speaking of my wife if you're one of those people who likes to play heavy death metal in the mornings while you work then, yeah, you probably know it's a bit late at night when you've got a nagging suspicion that you probably have to turn it down a bit. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your goth rock is maybe a bit too loud and it's going to wake up your wife, your mum or your next door neighbours and you're going to get that bang, bang, bang on the wall. Yep from somebody or somebody's gonna open your door and shout at you rather loudly yeah you know exactly what i'm on about we've all had that from somebody at some point it's not nice is it so maybe just be a little considerate for somebody else's sake or because you're all got, gonna get shouted at i don't know but yeah it's best just to think about that not everybody's music taste is the same as yours well we all know that just because we've listened to somebody's horrible music taste on a youtube video <sighs> never good is it but yeah so just yeah either turn it down or go to bed and let's face it nobody wants to turn their music down do they turning your music down for somebody else is like cutting off a limb half of the time best off go to bed and then get up in the morning and have it as loud as you want i don't know how it is in other countries but here we have a general rule in the uk that from nine o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night you can do whatever you want with your ears so yeah if it's the same in america or wherever you are let me know in the comments uh, so yeah if you want to just work from nine o'clock at in the morning to nine o'clock at night then yeah just don't have your music too loud i generally think 11 o'clock at night is the point where i have to turn it down luckily enough i have next door neighbors who are practically deaf so i can record this quite late and they can't hear my voice right now so i'm perfectly happy with that the most i have to worry about is my little boy or my wife banging on the door go to bed so i'm pretty much okay right now but yeah i know i'm not gonna wake my wife up and my little boy well yeah he's fine most i'm gonna get is him coming in wanting to be a youtuber as well but he mainly wants to unbox toys number five you've actually gotten rather distracted this time Worse than before, you're not just looking up crap on the internet anymore. No, it's gotten worse than that this time. You've started making stuff out of Lego. Another random rubbish on your desk. This time, it's a stylus. Look at that. It's rather good. I've even picked out the ring colour. It's orange. Do you like it? I think it's rather good. I went one stage further, the pen pot, it fits quite well, I like making stuff out of Lego, somebody save me, it can't be used, it doesn't work on the tablet, but I can't seem to find my stylus, I can't do any work now, but what do I do? <sighs> My bum's moulded to the chair. I just can't go to bed. My insomnia's kicked in, so I'm here for the night now. Somebody save me, please. Moving on. Number six. Outside breaks the gentle dawn, that beautiful cascade of colours accompanied by 
what is the Disney-esque melody of the bird song. It's certainly time to go to bed now. If you're not facing a window just like me in my studio, then you haven't seen that beautiful palette of colours, but you've certainly heard the birds. What I once assumed was the hooting of an owl, I can now no longer tell myself isn't that, but is in fact, yep, the tweeting of birds in the morning. So it's certainly time to switch off and go to bed. And you should too. If it's gotten to that point in the morning, it's, yeah, no, I can't deny it any longer. Otherwise, I will be in this position, on the floor, under my desk. It's no good for anybody. I'm not doing good work. I'm not doing any work. This is where I will end up. Hearing birds is not a good sign. Being awake from the sun, seeing the sun again. You know, having missed all of the darkness, that is nighttime, is never a good idea for anybody. You are not Dracula. So, yeah, go to bed. Number seven. The door swings open. And angrily, maybe your mother, maybe your spouse, maybe an angry child tells you, it's four in the morning. Go to bed. This happens to me. Now and again, my wife comes in. Somehow she knows that I'm awake. I don't know how she has some kind of spider sense that tells her I'm awake. And for some reason, she wakes up, knows that I'm awake, comes in, demands that I go to bed. Maybe this happens to you. Maybe you have somebody who demands you go to bed. Above all the other reasons I've given you so far, this terrifies me the most. This is the reason I always go to bed. Before the sun comes up, before I hear the twittering of the birds, I will go to bed for that very reason. Because I know I will get the ultimate telling off. Maybe you have the cojones to stand up to that person, to tell your mum no, to tell your other half, I'll go to bed when I please, but I do not. My wife, she's frightening. I won't stand up to her. I'm not that gobby. She's a tough Scot. I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything. I'll go to bed when I'm told. So, for me, when I hear her, I press shut down, save, shut down, and I say, I was just doing it. And that's it. I go to bed. I hope you do too, for your own safety. So, there you go. There are the seven main signs that it's time to go to bed. I hope you agree. If you got any more, then put them in the comments below. But here is something you can do. Here is something very, very good that I do when it is time to go to bed. I get my trusty notepad. My studio is in fact totally paperless apart from this notepad. And on this notepad, what I do when I go to bed, I look at the piece of artwork that I'm working on. This very piece will actually be a tutorial very soon. I look at that piece of artwork before I go to bed and I bullet point what I want to work on tomorrow. Now I'll say that dress, I want to do some cross hatching on and I'll say the trees need a bit of work and I'll say the sword I want to have a glimmer and a gleam on and I'll say the troll's head I want to put some extra hair on and 
have some hair coming out of his ears, and I, I try and write as many bullet points as I can. So that when I sit down tomorrow, I'm not umming and ahhing. All the things that I didn't manage to get done today. And I'll just push myself to come up with as many ideas as I can in that last five minutes. And then when I sit down, sometimes in the morning I'll cross them out as rubbish. Sometimes I'll come up with more based on those ideas. But normally I come up with some real gems in that last five minutes. But at least when I sit down in the morning, it gives me something to work on straight away. So that I'm not sat there trying to think of what to do. Hopefully that will spur you on to put down your work, turn off that computer and go to bed. Hopefully this video has been useful for you. If nothing else, it's just giving you some rubbish to watch on the internet because it's late at night right now. <laughs> so, with that said, have an absolutely great night. Watch some crap on my channel. And I'll see you next time. Go, get out of here.